Welcome back to the channel everybody. It's your friendly neighborhood Armenian back with another video. Today I'm checking out the all new 2020 Subaru Outback XT Onyx Edition. Huge thank you to North End Subaru and Mazda out in Lunenburg, Massachusetts for providing me the opportunity to check this car out for you today. Okay. So what's new for the 2020 Outback XT Onyx Edition? So what's unique about this Onyx Edition is basically Subaru's version of a blackout package. You have blacked out door mirrors, you have blacked out lettering in the back, and you have these really cool blacked out alloy finished wheels around the car. You can't opt to have this car without the Onyx Edition, so it does come in multiple trims. But I think that Onyx Edition gives it that nice stealth look. And I think it's a really cool touch. In 2020, they revamped both the Outback and the Legacy models. The XT version of this car is the more sporty version. So essentially, you get a brand new motor up front. It is a 2.4 liter, four cylinder turbocharged motor that is coming straight from the Subaru Ascent. And in this platform, the car is pushing 260 horsepower and 277 pound feet of torque. Now that's a gain not only in horsepower, but a huge bump in torque coming from the previous four cylinder version or variant of the Outback and Legacy models. Previously, you did have the 3.6 liter flat six variant. The motor in this XT is essentially taking place of that six cylinder motor. So there will no longer be the six cylinder motor option available in the Outback and the Legacy. However, you're pushing the same power, but a lot more torque in this four cylinder version. Aside from having that brand new motor in this XT, the interior is definitely noticeably different, but not so different for Subaru standards. So you have a whole new multimedia system here, which I think is drop dead gorgeous. It's so beautiful, elegant in, in such a simplistic way. The majority of all the buttons and functions are all within this one center stack display over here. You can control your radio, your media, your map, climate control system. Everything is controlled through this center stack over here. So very easy to use, touch screen, very, very easy to navigate. The maps are very, very clear. The sound system is actually fantastic. You have the Harman Kardon upgraded sound system in this vehicle as well. If you've seen any of my previous Subaru reviews with the Harman Kardon upgrade, I love their sound system. I think for the class of vehicle, for the price range that we're at, it's very capable, sounds very crisp and clear. So why don't we go ahead and take a listen and check out the sound system right now. And now you asked out the fan, but I'm casting checks with Premier on his jam, Robin Leach. Sounds pretty good, right? You have basically tons and tons of features in this display that you can play with. You can check out your car info. The advanced package option will actually direct you to your eyesight system and tell you exactly what's going on with that with lane departure and anything related to eyesight. I'm not really going to go into detail about the eyesight system. I've covered it in more detail in my previous Subaru videos. I'll put a card up here and a link in the description if you're interested in finding out more about the eyesight system. Steering wheel is fairly unchanged. Great steering wheel. Love it. Leather wrapped. Feels really, really nice. Nice 9 and 3 grip. Nice 10 and 2 notches. No complaints there, no issues. The gauge display, you have the tachometer on the left, the speedometer on the right, nice and easy to use, and you have a nice screen in the center of the gauge cluster as well that's all digital, and it basically shows you a bunch of options that Subaru's basically been carrying over. Great options, you have a digital speedometer, you can monitor your tire pressure for each tire, uh, small things like that, your fuel economy, your trip gauge. A lot of leather on the inside, on the door panels, and the seats, on the armrest over here, and you have tons and tons of soft touch material all throughout the vehicle as well. Looks really nice. And in the Onyx version here, you have this really cool green contrast stitching within the interior of the car. I think it's a really cool, unique touch. One specific feature that's added to this Outback XT model, not specific to the Onyx edition per se, but you have this really cool StarTex upholstery they have 
around the seats and it's basically a waterproof based material and so if you were to get dirt or stains or anything on the seats you can easily just wash it and wipe it with water and, and clean it right up no issues and it won't get absorbed into the material the seats themselves are very comfortable again they're really soft really easy for long commutes daily commutes storage space kind of remains unchanged bottle holders in both the driver and passenger side mat pockets here you have the center armrest here with two areas for storage a deeper cubby on the inside over here with a with an auxiliary outlet as well and on the top you have a small a flatter storage area you could fit a phone so this is my iPhone 10s max and it fits in there perfectly fine if you want to store it in there out of the way and link up via Bluetooth so you can fit some small items in there as well two USB gauges underneath the center console over here as well as an auxiliary jack you have the electronic parking brake next to that as well gear lever right behind that and one cool function you see to the right of the gear lever I, I just love how simple this is so that you don't really have many buttons around the gear lever or just in general at all aside from the electronic parking brake the gear lever the only the button you have here to the right of the gear lever you have this button that says view on it when you push that button what it does is there is a front facing camera in this car you can't really see that well in front of you you go ahead and push that button and the camera lights up and you can see exactly what's going on in front of you uh, it's i think it's a really cool feature i feel like a lot more cars in general should have this this feature it's, it's just something cool to have especially if your car is lower or anything like that but this being the outback the car is definitely raised but it's still a really cool feature to have seat warmers here as well you can choose between three options climate control buttons again are electronic through here as well and you control the temperature via up arrow or down arrow buttons over here or you can just kind of slide through the scale here with your finger dual zone climate control here for the driver and passenger and you can sync those up you also have a sunroof up here as well you have plenty of space in the back seat me being about five nine sitting behind myself as you can see plenty of head space plenty of space between my knee and the front seat very comfortable for adults in the back no issues with that at all trunk space this is basically a station wagon hatch style you can tell there's tons of space back there you also have an electronic hatch system as well with a push of a button it will close and lock as well i think this is a great car it's actually really fun to drive as well due to that new motor it's got a lot more pep let's go ahead and take this out on the road for a really quick drive and see what it is like on the road all right setting off in the outback xt first thing that i definitely notice it feels like i'm driving on clouds very very comfortable in here and the other thing is it's really quiet this isn't the limited or the touring versions which insulates even more it's very comfortable the suspension is absorbing everything this is from the mic on my GoPro I can whisper it's very comfortable fairly minimal wind noise it feels very premium in here with this this multimedia system here it's just it's I can't stop thinking about it and like and and wanting to play with it it's just so beautiful it it looks like something right out of Tesla I mean I know I'm over exaggerating here but it really it does it's just one big center stack the screen is huge it's amazing it's bright it's just beautiful long road trips I think would be great in this car comfortable put tons of suitcases you know in the back and bam even if you need to go you know to the home improvement store or Home Depot or anything like that you can definitely put tons of stuff in there and still drive comfortably now, I'm sure what everybody wants to know, how is the power in this car? So, let's go. We're around 1200 RPMs going 30 right now. Let's see how this turbo pulls. There it is. Whoa, there it is. Whoa, okay. Wow. That's not what I expected at all. So, it's weird. It felt like it was three tiered. So, it took a little bit, got to about 1500 RPMs and I felt it slightly, you know, it was a little dull to be honest with you and then around 2000 RPMs it pulled a bit I definitely felt a noticeable pull but then around 2500 RPM to 3000 it re it pulled even harder I mean it just really really pulled it felt It doesn't feel like a station wagon or like a family vehicle of this size. It really doesn't Let's try that again because that was that was kind of addictive here there it is and there it is it's pulling and it's pulling even more there we go okay those are <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in an outback I mean I'm in a hatchback and I'm I'm being I'm laughing like this and being impressed by the power that's crazy Wow <laughs> so 
this is what I've been talking about. If you've seen my cross trek review or Forester review videos, this is what I've been talking about as far as lacking in power. Now there was no problems with the power plant, to be honest with you, but I feel like this this really does it. This is you don't need any more than this, realistically, for a, a daily vehicle like this. It's plenty comfortable, plenty reliable, and it just it's got plenty of pep and torque and, and power that you won't have to worry about passing on the highway. If you're gonna tow something in the back, you won't have any problem. I believe the towing capacity is 3,000 and 4,000 pounds, I believe. As we're on a back road right now, let's let's see how this, let's see how this thing does going from a stop. All right, so dead stop, empty roads in Mexico. Let's see what happens. And there it kicks again, it's pulling in. Yeah, that, that, that that's healthy. <laughs> We still do have the CVT transmission as well. No issues with the CVT, it's doing perfectly fine. It's simulating gears very well. It's it's able to put down that torque and that power perfectly fine without any slipping or anything like that that I have noticed. You know, granted, I mean, we're not in anything crazy. We're still, we're around the 260 horsepower, 277 pound-feet of torque range. You know, that's so it's, it's, it's manageable, it's doable, reliably. So I previously have mentioned in all the Subaru Reviews that I've done. I don't have issues with the CBT. I have owned numerous Subarus and currently own a couple Subarus with the CBT. I don't really have any issues as long as you meet, you know, if you maintain them properly. It's very spacious and it's open in here. I feel like I don't really have much, if any, I don't even think I have any blind spots to be honest. Tons of visible glass everywhere around the door panels, around the mirror over here in the back. I got plenty of space. The rear view camera the rear view mirror here is perfectly fine the mirrors are great all right hope you all enjoyed this quick review of the all new 2020 subaru outback xt onyx edition if you did please go in and hit that thumbs up button i really appreciate all the support and if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing got tons of automotive review content as well as content on my own personal vehicle the 2020 toyota supra coming very very soon leave a comment down below with your thoughts let me know what you think about this car huge thank you to north end subaru and mazda out in lunderberg massachusetts for providing me the opportunity to check this car out for you today this car is available for sale i'll put a link in the description below if you're interested they have a massive selection of subarus as well as mazdas used and new and as always thank you all so much for watching see you all next time peace